So I'm about to work on this thing. This part down in here, let's go ahead and take this off. This part here is not doing right. It's not turning and this part is dragging real bad and it's roaring when it's turning. So we're gonna see if we can't take it apart and replace it. Make sure when you're taking the top off, you get these screws right here. This one's gotta come off and this one here is attached to this part right here. To get this ring off right here, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put this socket just like this right here, and I'm gonna hammer this side of it to get this ring off. So this here is bad on the wash machine. It's like really, really hard to turn. So I ordered a new one of these. All right, I got the new one put in got it just bolts down right here right here and right here and of course this piece came on it and this piece came on it and this so i put all this back together now i got to get it inside this tub well there's rust all over this thing here so i'm going to clean that up this is what i'm going to do to clean this up clean that up see if we can't paint it probably ain't gonna help any but i'm gonna do it anyway get some paint down in there maybe it'll quit rusting as bad Wow. I have now rigged up a testing port. I put a 220 plug right here, which I moved from this old air conditioner that doesn't work anymore. And I put it through here, and this is the old air conditioner. There's two holes right there. I'm gonna hook water up to one, and I'm gonna use this other hole to, uh, to drain. And that's going to be my test port. And here's the hoses where they hook up. And this is how the power hooks up. I don't have the panel on right now, but I'm being careful. All right, so I got them hooked up. Water's hooked up right there. Drain's hooked up right there. Power's hooked up. Let's see. We're running it. I need a screwdriver so I can trick this thing into thinking it's closed. do that there it is I just stuck a screwdriver in it probably shouldn't do this but we're doing it anyway all right so we are working I got it tricked out right there into thinking the lid's closed so we could wash it. And you can see how dirty that water is. These are shop rags that I'm washing in. I guess if I'm gonna test it out, I might as well clean some rags up in the shop. Well, got my old gloves clean anyway. Well, you already made a wash and we've already dried. Here's all my shop rags, and uh, everything's clean. Everything come out real clean. So, basically, don't don't throw something away if you if you don't want to just waste money. Look at it. Try to fix it. If you can fix it, that'll save you a lot of money. And it's, some of this stuff's not hard to fix. Like this part right here is just it was just froze up, you know. 
and uh that's the part i bought to fix it this piece here was a hundred and fifty dollars which basically 200 with shipping but um i don't know was it worth it i got a running washing machine and dryer combo and it fits in a pretty tight spot so i'd say it was worth every penny of it so try to fix it thank you guys for watching i appreciate the support and like and subscribe this is something you want to see i've got uh more stuff to fix um over here i got a washer and dryer there to fix too so we're going to be working on more things we've got um different things like these lights here we're going to hook up to my truck and just different things we're going to be working on thank you guys for watching have a good day